Welcome everyone to Bristol Motor Speedway race number six. So why call on pole for today's race? Here's the full qualifying results. All right, let's take you or to the start. Just gotta type it in. Okay. Engines will fire up soon. All right, there it is. Here we go. So, uh, not too much to talk about, I don't think. But, uh, you have some... The 48 and the 11 front row starters, 47 and 5, Nathan Fisher, the winner at Charlotte. And yeah, I kind of found the problem with the drivers going slow. Yeah, it has to do something with their skill, not their individual ratings. Only problem is that they are not as dynamic, I guess, in a way. Still can uh, probably make uh, give it a boost because it's at the lowest right now, zero to five percent. So that is the AI strength, but uh, it doesn't really uh, give that uh, aggressive style racing. All right, so we should be ready to go green here. All right, here we go. Pace car is in. Green, green, green. green flag is out. We're underway. The 11 of Hodak are right around the outside. He's going to take the lead away from Qual. And he'll clear him off turn four. He'll lead lap number one. Brad Cheston in the 12 in third. Using that bottom row, bottom lane. The eight car gonna slip up high. Side by side for second. 40 and the five though, they get that big run. 40 leaves an opening for the five. He's gonna let him go here. Brad Cheston will go around. He'll get third. And here comes the five. Nathan Fisher to the inside. For the race lead. Cheston's going to go high. Still neck and neck. 22 car. Noodles in fourth. Battling Y. Qual in the nine car. Stephen Oaks. Take a look from the third TV camera way up in the stands. Get to see a lot more action as the five car makes the bottom line work. He'll clear to 12. Got 300 cars once again, 548 and a nine. Take a look at the back of the pack. They're still pretty bunched up. They're three wide back there. 6, 34, and 24. Tim Randolph, oh, hit the wall there. Had a feeling he was going to do it. It's pretty slow here. 20 and 6 got held up. No caution here. No caution. Nine car now. On the inside, it's 12 for third. There's Tim Randolph coming up pit road. Here comes the five. The rookie trying to make it two in a row. Still early to, to call it. Side by side. 11 car easily clears. Might need to 
put the bumper to make a move. Here comes the 12 of chest and the 5 car stayed on the bottom. Allowed the 12 car to close in. Uh, well, not quite. 5 cars clear. Nathan Fisher, really strong. He just kept by the 11. Three-way battle here for third. The 9 car finished second at uh, Charlotte. Was making a run on the 5. Was running him down, but it's too little too late. 12 car, the only Ford here in the top 5. His teammate, not too far back though. I should probably have the point standings pulled up. I have no idea where is everyone. Here's the 6th Samuel Oscan all the way back here. The 34, Lazy Batar. 20, as we see, that is a column bear, Nathan Norman. Yeah. A lot more racier back here. Three wide now. Four, Tim Randolph around the top. Oh no, Alexander Rowe, what am I saying? Tim Randolph, four. Teammates. As we know, the four, one winning at USA. Almost got North Wilkesboro. So with the 34. There's a 7 and the 1. Seventeen here. That is uh Dylan Eberheimen. Got cars coming on both sides here. Don't leave that top open. Brian Butcher in the 99 closing in on this small group. Joining the battle. Twenty-one, Eric Monaco. Hunting these two drag guys down. The forty-two, Cole Sampson, and the nineteen of Mitchell. Or no, Michael Hoax. He had a great run at Charlotte too. Nearly crashed, but well, hung on to it. A great save by that nineteen car. So it's going back to the front. Oh, here comes the 5, just in time. Nathan Fisher passes the 11 for the race lead. Got him on the inside, too. The 48. Also there, trying to nab second. Still neck and neck here. Wyatt Qual not letting up. Sat on the pole, but didn't get to lead a lap. Here comes the nine now. No try the challenge for third. Brad Chesson has kind of fallen back a bit. There he is with the 22 for fifth. Got a pair of RCR guys, the 8 and the 3, Cropley and, whoops, the new car, Brian Rodriguez. 47, Kenny Johnson. Trying to get by. And he's clear. The 11 car just surrounded by Henrik drivers. Nearing the halfway point. Could be another caution free race. Maybe. So far, the only instance we spot was the 41 to Tim Randolph. Getting into the wall on the back straightaway. Other than that, that's it. Some probably prefer the much cleaner racing than the chaos we sometimes have in NR.
but sometimes when you have races like uh, where there's no cautions, usually they are pretty boring itself because there's no battles. But as we can see, drivers can battle. They can battle, they can close in on gaps. Still haven't looked in for a new ticker there. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Don't know why it doesn't really work as well for iRacing. Pretty sure there's another one out there we can use. Possibly. 12 and 22 slowly closing in. A pair of Fords. Looking to hunt these guys down. Here they come. Wyquell in the 48. He'll clear the 11 off turn 4. 11's going to try again on the inside. 5 car must be 11 this. Not going to be a first the first driver to be a two-time winner and the nine car of Stephen Oaks will also get by once again one two three and he'll try to get by the 48 as well and he does just that power drive off the top the 11 car also gonna retake a spot any slow cars or tail end of the field we should say Blackwell really falling back gonna get split right here. 12 cars gonna go on the inside, 22 on the outside. Still battling for second. No one letting up. Much closer view. But I uh, can't really see much, you can only see one car. These guys are still going at it. Why call? Drive him back up to second. And he's clear. With all that battling, the five car actually hasn't really pulled away as much. Yeah, it's kind of surprising the 5 of Nathan Fisher was unable to pull away at all. Look at how quickly the 48 closes in. Brad Cheston battling the 9 for 3rd. Here they come. Or here comes Wyatt Quill in the 48. Not quite. Another big drive. Right, he's patient. Looks like he had a chance to make a pass. But he didn't take it. Fading back a little. Here's a 12, here's a 22, there's a 9. So a three way for third, or four way. I've caught back up with Wyatt Qual. Five cars got a pretty sizable lead once again. Next race will be our first road course race. We're headed to the Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Interesting to see how that's going to play out. We know the treacherous 5A and 5B. But uh, I'm not sure it's going to be that big when we uh, get there big of a deal. Well, it's still going to be a tough turn. But we'll see how they handle it. 22 car noodles trying to get into the top three. The eight cars also closed in. Brian Rodriguez. He's slowly moving his way up. Might be able to get a top five finish out of this. Not really close to the slower traffic, or lap traffic. There's a six car, way back. Forty-eight closing in again.
Maybe three wide for third? Nope. 12 car does not have enough room to make that pass. Oh, someone hit someone. Somewhere. 40 or 18 Michael Brown. Slow, slow on the racetrack. Well, here they go. Oh, debris. Debris. We'll throw a yellow for that. No, oh, whoops. I think I put a space in there. There we go. Alright, caution, caution, caution for debris on the racetrack. So, not gonna go caution free this race. Leader is still Nathan Fisher. Let's take a look at the replay. Alright, so Michael Brown. So Brown was with the 10 and the 4 around the outside. Oh, looks like the 10 slid up a little bit, made contact, hit the wall. Beak it to the right side. Kind of jammed on the brakes there a bit, entering turn 1. You saw the smoke come out and skid marks, so that caused a jam up right behind. You know what happens when there's a jam up, usually. So the 18 tried to cut down. I don't know what he was doing there, but he hits the 38. The 38 nearly wrecks, just saves it. They can see everything flying out. But luckily no one else was involved in that one. So our first caution... Oh, hit the cone there too. <laughs> That's going to be a commitment cone violation for Michael Brown. Alright, so that was kind of funny. Uh, does he hit the other one? Yes, he did hit both of them. He hit both cones. Does he hit the blue one? No, he doesn't. Okay. Wow. Alright, so Michael Brown in the wall. And out of frustration, hits both commitment cones. Alright. Anyways, let's take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready for the restart. So, gonna have ourselves eight laps to go when we take the green flag. So, Nathan Fisher... And the 5 on the inside, the 48 wide qual. Could be a big advantage here to the 48 being on the outside line. Sponged up the field there. Alright, getting ready for the restart. Pace car is in. Green flag. Green flag is out. We're back on the way. So the five car Fisher kind of waited a little bit before he got going. Oh, that was smart. Really smart. Yeah, I thought Wyatt Qual, he was going to take that lead on the top. Brad Cheston to third. The 11 of Hodak trying on the inside. 22 around the top. Got some three wide action back here. Maybe three wide over there. Not quite. Oh, what a what a veteran move by a rookie, Nathan Fisher. That's not Ramian Fisher though. Brad Cheston. Now it's up to second place. See if he can hunt down the five. He won't have enough time though. Or he will have a little very little bit of time. A small amount of time, what am I saying? So I didn't clear the 48 there, call it back to second. Five laps remaining. Looks like it's going to be two in a row for the five team. Twenty-two bottom, twelve to the top, 48. Surrounded by the Penske guys. Try the block. Didn't work. Oh, look at the 19. Man, he just sends it in there hard. And that paid off pretty well. Gained two spots with that pass. And he'll get a third one maybe by the 12. And there he goes. Man, 19 cars on the move here. Up to third. Two laps to go. Here they come. Only the 5 and the 11 have been the leaders today. 11 cars falling back in the second half. He's outside of the top five now. Here comes the 19. See if he can get second. There comes the white flag. One more lap to go. But not quite. Right. Yeah, okay. One more lap remaining here for the five. 
two wins in a row, it looks like. What a drive. So it looks like Noodles will hang on for second. Michael Hoax in the 19 will get third. Checker flag is waving. And the five car of Nathan Fisher wins here at Bristol. Noodles second. Michael Hoax third. All right, I think, uh, is that everybody? No, not yet. One more car. Okay, now we're good. All right, so uh, let's uh, now take you the, or show you the full race results now. So here are your full race results. Nathan Fisher, the winner, leading 41 laps there. Uh, Noodles getting second, Michael Hoax third, Brad Cheston finishing fourth, Wide Qual fifth, Stephen Oaks gets sixth, Bron Rodriguez seventh, Mitchell Hodak getting eighth, the only other leader who led 19 laps. Uh, Carlos Rodriguez finishing ninth, and David Davis in tenth. So that rounds off the top ten drivers. Here is the rest of the race results there. So over only one caution and very clean racing. Muhammad Zain Abdullah got two incident points there. Was he the only one? No, Michael Brown too as well. So only two drivers with uh, incident points. All right, now let's take a look at our full season standings. So right now, Nathan Norman is still our points leader. Followed by Brad Chesson by seven points. And Noodles is third with 10 points back. Alexander Rowe is fourth. With 23 back, Chris Sang, 33, tied with Nathan Fisher, picking up his second win. So Wyatt Qual is 7th, Rodriguez is 8th, Oaks is 9th, and Colin Bear is 10th. So here's the rest of the point standings here. Oh, uh, yep. Alright, so that is it here at Bristol. We'll uh, see you for race number 7 at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park.